concern tonight over a classroom exercise that many believe crossed the line. I have nothing against the teacher. He's really nice, but the questions were, were definitely pretty deep. A history teacher at Will Seawood High School allegedly asked his students personal and what some call inappropriate questions as a way to increase understanding between peers. CBS 13's Angela Greenwood is live now in Vacaville with more on the backlash this lesson is getting, Angela. Now, Tony and Christina, these questions were about race, sexuality, and the family life of these students. And while school officials say it does appear that this teacher had good intentions, they say he took things a bit too far. It was really personal and deep questions. Personal and private questions asked to classrooms full of 11th grade students by their teacher. If you were an immigrant and one was like if you were bisexual or gay or transgender. This 15 year old student says it happened in his history class at Vacaville's Will C. Wood High School Wednesday. It was just kind of weird. Some people were all looking around. They were like, some people were laughing. The survey was similar to what's called a privilege line seen in these videos taken across the country. If you were raised in a single parent household, take one step back. A way for people to better understand their peers and what hurdles they face in life. Well, he said he wanted us to get to know each other more. Students were apparently also asked if they were born out of wedlock or if any of their parents were addicted to drugs. I would feel pretty uncomfortable. Parents are divided on the issue. And it's very inappropriate. Maybe that teacher was a little bit too forward thinking, but I, I think he was headed in the right direction. To me, it doesn't bother me. I think it's totally fine. It should be a safe place for them to talk about those things. CBS 13 checked and learned it's against California education code for students to be asked personal questions including about their sexuality or family life in the classroom without parental consent. We'll see what principal Adam Rich says the exercise is concerning and says it is being looked into following a parent complaint. This was an activity that it sounds like made some students not feel good. A well-intended lesson on social issues, not well received by some high school history students. I have nothing against the teacher. He's really nice, but the questions were, were definitely pretty deep. Now, the principal tells us it's unclear at this time if this teacher will face any disciplinary, disciplinary action, but we do know that this exercise did take place in more than one of his classes. Angela Greenwood, live in Vacaville for us. Angela, thank you.